Hey guys, this is DDWitch01 here, and I apologize for all any background noise you may hear. My microphone is not in the best shape right now, but I wanted to just get this video out there, so I've kept track of all of the sort of like the sneak peeks and anything that was put on like websites for basically Jimmy 2017 tabletops and some more came out today on target.com so I think you're going to find those very interesting but so we're gonna start off here with the haunted books so 2009 they actually originally made these but besides changing their appearance, the mechanism is exactly the same. And it's really awesome and amazing and hard to believe that something not long ago has returned. And it's not even something that was extremely popular, like the Orange Candy Bowl, which was ex made almost exactly as it was years ago. I believe the last time it was made was like 2012. And it didn't even have like the trick or treat graphic on it. But this one does have that. So I'm really excited to look at that in this little slideshow we're going to do. But these are currently going to be sold at Cracker Barrel. Maybe somewhere else, I'm not sure. Or I believe around $24.99, $27.99. And in order for these older things to come back, they have to be more expensive due to inflation, sadly. But it is totally worth it to me because these are really cool. I will be picking them up. Next, we have the Animated Eyeball Doorbell, which there's a couple new ones this year, but this one is the coolest because it actually has a new eye. And yes, that's not just the prototype. I went to Cracker Barrel and it actually does have the orange eyeball. So that orange eyeball is a new design. And the actual doorbell itself is the same like shape, but on the, fr the front of it, it has this extra really cool design to it and a red button. And I will definitely consider picking this one up because I know it will sell fast. This is the, um, I guess like the tank, the brass, excuse me. I forgot what it said on the website. This is the, oh, and this will be a Cracker Barrel too, but this is the brass eyeball doorbell. This will be a Grand Road exclusive as far as I know. And it's just like a regular one except it's brass colored. I will consider ordering this because I know that will be very rare in the future. And I believe it is $24.99. This was made last year in the UK, but this is the Skellerina Music Box. So, yeah, this thing basically spins around the green lights light up and it plays like little creepy music and this will be a Grand Road as well. Next on our list we have a bizarre item. I don't know if this will actually get made but this is the animated hoverboard skeleton. I think that they're a bit late on this but because you know all the hoverboards like exploded and like killed people and stuff but I mean, it'll, it may be cool if they make it. It looks like the arms may move up and down, although I'm not sure how I can see that working considering how small it is. But who knows? I mean, for sure we know that this would move. I mean, look at how small the wheels are. So, so yeah. Next, and I do not know where this will be sold or if it will be made, like I said. Next, we have one of the Haunted Infinity Mirrors. So, so far this year we've seen three of them. This is the Red Reaper one. I don't know what it'll say. I don't know where it'll be sold. I don't know if it's even gonna be made. But yeah, so this one was one of the ones we saw earlier in the year. And yeah, not much more to say about it besides it'll be interesting to see it because there are two other Haunted Infinity Mirrors this year that will be guaranteed sold. This item was probably not really seen much. I don't even know if there, this was previewed on like Facebook or anything, or if anybody even pointed this out. But this is the Firing Light Cauldron. And I, there's actually a video of a life-size witch in a cauldron called the Firing Light Witching Cauldron. And it basically has an effect where there's rising flames that you can see through the actual cauldron, which I find really cool. And this is a tabletop, so it's going to be relatively small. I'm thinking the base is about the size of a candy bowl. Or a gray vapor, for that matter. Hey guys, it's the gray vapor for 2017. 
Yeah, I don't know where this will be sold or if it will be made at all. This is the Candy Bowl remake that I was talking about, and I believe there is a larger photo coming up soon of it. But this is currently at the store at home, which used to be Garden Ridge. And yeah, so this is really awesome. I actually already have one on, on Jimmy Master Animatronics. I already did a review. I would highly recommend picking this up as it is, besides the hand being like a darker, brighter, but at the same time like brighter green, it's like the exact same. This is a really cool one. So this is the a Floating Ghost remake. Yes, this year, if you haven't noticed, it's all about remakes. Even Seasonal Visions is, has remade the Limb Ripper at Spirit's Request. But yeah, so this one's wholesale is 35 and it's probably going to like sell for about 45 in stores, $40, $45. This is one of two floating ghosts we've seen so far. We may actually see some more floating ghosts. But this is the skeleton one, and there actually is a video on a YouTube channel called Top Trends LTD. But they have not put it on their website yet, but they did, for some reason, upload a video of what I believe is the prototype. So you can go check that video out. It's not called Floating Ghost, but the channel is Top T-R-E-N-Z LTD on YouTube. And it's just a video with like a bunch of numbers in the title. And I do not know where this one will be sold. Next we have the Goodies Skeleton Candy Bowl. So this one actually has animation. Um, them, it's looking like either the hands move inward to grab you or the head lunges forward or the whole thing lunges forward and from what it looks like the eyes may even move side to side although I believe they will not move side to side it says goodies on the bowl I do not know where this one will be sold either I apologize but I, I try my best but it's just hard to tell sometimes with some of these items this is the singing jack-o'-lantern like bull mold light show thing. It's basically sort of like that spirit one in 2009 that wasn't Jimmy, where it projects the face from the inside onto the pumpkin, and then it's safe. It's really cool. Don't know where this one's going to be sold either, and I forgot how much the wholesale price was. This is one of the new for 2017 Target exclusives. So this microphone, I don't know too much about what it does, because on Target's website there's not really a description. But I'm actually going to zoom in here, because as you can see, there is a try me button and a record button, as well as a motion sensor. So what that tells me is that there's going to be some generic audio that plays through the microphone. But you also have the option to record your own. Either that, or you can record your voice and store it in the microphone so that when someone walks by or they press the try me it'll actually play the audio you store so this is going to be a very cool item in my opinion and i am definitely going to be interested to see this one in stores this is another amazing item this is basically a frankenstein head but like the original Jacob's Ladder Heart, it actually has a lever that you lift up to turn on the item. I'm guessing it'll have the same audio as the Jacob's Ladder Heart from 2007. But who knows, this may actually have the Brain Monsters audio since he has like shocking things hooked up to it, you know? So who knows, but this thing is really cool. Now this is really exciting. Because as you can see, this actually has moving eyes. It's been a long time since we had a prop with moving eyes. And this looks to be hard plastic, but if I'm wrong, this thing will have a moving mouth as well. So, yeah, I'm really excited about this one. Not too much more to say, but it will be at Target this year. Another Target exclusive that just came out today is the Wheel of Fate. So I don't know where the batteries go, I'm assuming on the back or like in this thing. Probably on the back of it. Which may look a little weird, but I'm hoping not. So this is the Wheel of Fate. It has a skull on the top, which I assume flashes his eyes. But it'll probably be similar to the Mystic Wheel, except that it will spin around full. Mystic Wheel spins around, but you can actually see the same like mechanism. But it'll say different things. So it'll say, 
it actually has a lot of phrases. It will say, beware of the dark, stay close to mummy, doesn't look good, your future is murky, you don't want to know, you better stay home, watch your back, and treats will be yours. I believe that is the motion sensor. And it has a try me button, and whichever one the finger points at at the end is your fortune. This is a really cool item, and I can't wait to get one of my own. This is similar to the pumpkin I showed earlier, but it's an actual hanging prop. So it'll sing and have the same effect, however it actually has a hanging body and hands. And this will be sold at Target, another one of the items that was just basically previewed today. So I'm really excited about this one, not too sure if I'm going to get it though, but let's see. This one is the Kimmel Pianos. Piano. Don't know why they put like Kimmel there. Maybe it's like a little inside Halloween joke I don't understand, so let me know down below. But yeah, from what I can tell, this thing basically looks like the crawling skeleton hand from years back. It's hand. And it's on the keyboard for the piano. And I'm guessing the keys will move on their own. There's a motion sensor, but I don't see a trimmy button, which is sort of bizarre. I'm wondering if that's it back there somehow. But this is another Target exclusive. Another Target exclusive. I'm sorry the video is so long. just wanted to cover everything. This is something I'm definitely going to be getting. This is the animated eyeball candy bowl. So this is not going to have the same audio, probably, as the doorbell or another item I'm going to show that you may have seen already because this is a bowl, so that means this item is going to have brand new audio, which I'm very excited about. And it also blinks, which is really cool. So it's just like the eyeball doorbell, but it's in a bowl. Target exclusive. This actually seems Thriller. You heard me right, it does not seem Watch Me Whip or something like that. It seems Thriller. So, this thing basically moves around um, I don't know how to describe it, really. Um, and then the arms sort of like move. And it's actually got some good animation to it. This will be at at home stores. I'm not sure if I'm going to pick this up. I probably won't. And then this is the monster version, which does actually sing the Watch Me Web. So I think they're experimenting to see will the classic music one or the pop music one sell better. And if this one sells better, expect more classic Halloween music items that are like dancing. Here's a larger image of that remake candy bowl for this year. Highly recommend you go and pick this up. This one is only $8 at home, but it actually lights up multiple colors and that's all it does. And it does come with a try button though. So you can actually just have this candy bowl lined up multiple colors with your candy in it. I think it's really cool. Not sure that I'm going to pick one up unless it's like a dollar on clearance. This one actually has audio from the like skull with flashing real eyes spirit ball 2007 like way back so this is really cool it only has one phrase which is the one where it says trick or treat and laughs but it's really cool I'm, I'm considering picking this up but I'm actually not too sure this is the crying phantom it has the generic like at last I've been waiting so long for this moment but it's from the hating ghosts we've seen in the past couple of years that kind of like voice actor but it's the same phrases but it lights up multiple colors it doesn't like swirl or anything it just like fades into different colors which is pretty cool this is the like flashing red skull with like glowing on and off eyes this actually has the audio from like that floating skull from Lowe's in 2009 and buy costumes where it's like there's no turning back and we've been expecting you and all that kind of stuff so this is actually apparently pretty large but it's like 20 bucks I'm considering picking this up for sure I've not seen it in my local at home yet 
this one is basically Dawn of the Dead's house. As crazy as it seems, the house has like flickering lights inside, and you can hear Dawn of the Dead inside the house with other new background music. From the ones I've seen in stores, none of them I've seen actually have the flying around little pieces of paper. They're supposed to be bats, like it advertises here. And other haunted house is under like the glass or cl cliches or whatever have had that feature. Maybe they're because sometimes they'll just get stuck in the bottom, but maybe if it's a factory air and the fan is still in there, you could add your own pieces in there. I'm actually considering picking this up mostly because of how it looks with all the detail and the audio itself. This is one of the other infinity mirrors, and this one is actually based off of Dawn of the Dead, and it has the life size Dawn of the Dead and Black's audio, but like a longer version, and it's sort of higher pitch as well. I actually got this in June. They had the shipping boxes, and this is one of them they cut open the shipping box. So I pulled one of them out of there and I bought it. And I'm really glad I did because they actually have like put them away. Like I can't. I looked there and I found the other boxes, but I cannot find this one's box for some reason at my local store. Well, one of the two. I actually have two. But yeah, $24.99. Highly recommend you get this. It's really good quality. Coin speaker. Bump and Go Zombie Hand is that this actually has like moving fingers and it's like a good moving fingers like mechanism. It's like the older crawling hands, but it crawls across the floor just looking up. Highly recommend it. At home, probably like ten dollars, fifteen dollars. Really cool radio remake. They're even remaking stuff from like two years ago, one year ago. So this what this does is it has various creepy like music channels that are not the same as the other radios and the skull changes colors and tilts like side to side. I highly recommend this. I have not seen it in person or seen a full video of what all it does, but I'm definitely going to be getting this one. This is the Raven on the Pumpkin. This will be sold at Lowe's. I've seen it on Lowe's Canada, but I believe it'll also be in Lowe's USA. I'm pretty sure it'll have the same Raven audio we've had or crow audio we've had in the past few years, but it'll just be on a pumpkin instead. This is a really cool one. This is the other floating ghost we've seen this year, but it's actually of Dawn of the Dead. Or like the, it's called the Lady. And it looks really cool, lots of detail. I'm gonna pro try and pick this one up. I'm sure Jobing videos and Max and Nightmare King are definitely going to be getting both of these in one way or another. And this was also at Lowe's and Lowe's Canada. This is on Lowe's Canada for sure. This is Jimmy. I did check, and I believe the mouth may actually move. I'm not sure though. But I'm not too sure what this one does. I know it lights up, obviously, and has sounds, but I'm thinking the mouth moves as well. This is the last infin Haunted Infinity Mirror we've seen this year so far. And it's the Dawn of the Dead one, basically, but it has red lights instead of blue. This will be sold at Lowe's Canada, maybe Lowe's USA. This one is... I'm going to come back to this later so it's easier to explain. This one is a remake of the Ghostface phone, but it's got the actual Jimmy audio. Well, the, the Ghostface audio is by Jimmy, but like Jimmy's like original audio that we've seen in a lot of other phones. It could be different though, I'm not sure. But it has a flashing red light like it's an office phone when you walk by. And then you read it and it says the phrases. Really cool to see this at Walmart stores. This is at Cracker Barrel. This is like a deluxe version of the phones. It has the same audio we've heard in previous years, but it is a lot cooler, and I definitely plan on picking this up because each Cracker Barrel only gets one phone, I'm pretty sure. This one I saw earlier in the year, but I'm not sure if it's actually going to be made or not. This, the skull floats up and down and side to side. I don't know what the phrases are. I don't even know how much it'll cost. But it's really cool. The reason why I skipped the other one is because it's a variant of this one. So this is the animated eye and crystal ball. And it did actually come with the like the green eye that's an eyeball doorbells right. This one but it has some really cool audio and it's really clear and easy to understand. 
and it's just a really awesome item. I highly recommend it. You can purchase this on eBay right now from Halloween Holiday Store. So if you look up Halloween Holiday Store on Instagram, you'll find the link to their eBay store, because there's such a thing as eBay stores. And you can buy one there, you can make a best offer on it. I would highly recommend buying from Halloween Holiday Store. And you can get this right now. But it is also at home, it will be at Target as well. I'm, I'm assuming as well as Walmart. But if you want one with Jimmy packaging and you don't have an at home near you, I recommend getting it from Halloween Holiday Store. And now we're going to go back to this one. This is the cat version of that. And this will be sold exclusively at Big Lots. It has the same audio, but it actually fits surprisingly. And it's a cat eye that is actually green with a light inside. And it's really cool. I'm probably going to get this one as well as the other one. But yeah, so those are the 2017 tabletops we have seen so far. I apologize that this video is so long. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know about everything. Since some videos have something, some videos have others. But this has everything known to date. 2017. So I'd like to thank everybody for watching this video. If you liked it, please comment down below saying you liked it. And tell me which one you think is your favorite. And yeah... I will let you guys know, if I can, if there are any more tabletops released, which I'm sure within the next few days there will be a lot more shown. Thank you guys for watching, I apologize for the background noise and bye.